In this part we're going to be looking at the PHP tags and we're going to be discussing why the closing tag should be omitted. So I have my demo project set up here. I have index.php which is including start and then I'm redirecting the client to Google. If we take a look in start, we're calling our session start and then we have our closing tag and we have two lines of white space. Now these, this white space here is actually output that we're sending to the browser. So I'm going to demonstrate by just commenting this out and I'm going to type hello world. So if we go to our, if we go to our browser and refresh we see hello world. Now if we have white space here this is actually this is still output we just can't see it. So if we uncomment this and go back to our browser refresh we're going to get an error. Cannot modify header information headers are already sent on start.php line 7. So this is because we're sending output down here as I just explained. And as we all know we can't send a header after we've outputted something. So to fix this what PHP developers do is they just remove the closing tag like so and then they can have as much white space as they like and it still isn't going to give us this error we're just going to get redirected to Google. Now while we're on the subject of PHP tags I'd like to also mention that short tags like this you've probably seen all they do is they output whatever's, in, whatever's inside. Short tags like this should not be used. And the reason behind this is that any PHP version before 5.4 requires that their server configuration allows them to use these short tags. Now obviously if your, if your project is only going to be used by you on your own server then that's fine you can use what you like. But if this is going to be an open source project or something you're making for a client then you have no idea what PHP version they're running or even if the, the PHP version php.ini supports these tags. So it's really a simple fix. That's it.